Hi everyone, my name is Suzanne and I'm a Chinese metaphysics master in Hong Kong. So it looks like we've all survived the first month of the wood dragon year and we're entering the second month, which is the fire rabbit month. So that's the Ding Mao month and it goes from uh, March 5th all the way to April 3rd. Now we are looking at the monthly flying stars for that month to see what the month brings, how we can make best use of the energies of the flying stars that are coming into our homes and our offices and ensuring that we do the right things, yeah, that we actually benefit from whatever we're encountering energetically. Now, for those of you who are completely new to flying stars or feng shui, uh, this may look a little bit confusing, so don't worry. All you need to do is uh, stand in the center of your flat, take out a compass and check where's the south, where's the north, the east, the west, and so on. Where are all these directions that I'm talking about? And then actually perform the activities or the actions um, described in this video. It's really, really that straightforward. It's not so much about activating with water or anything like this. Yes, sometimes we do this, but it's actually much, much more effective if you perform the correct activities in the correct sectors. All right. Now, this month, the fire rabbit month, we do have three good sectors. One is actually, uh, no, two of them are really, really exceptional. So let me show you. Um, the Southwest here is an exceptional sector. Yeah. So if you happen to work from home, by all means, please go and work in the Southwest sector if you can make that happen. It's such a good area this month. Uh, we've got the monthly number one and the annual number nine that forms a combination of 10. That in and of itself is already fabulous. It's good for partnerships, collaboration, teamwork, making deals. If you're a business owner, this is fantastic. Yeah, you can get great uh, business opportunities. You can meet with new people, maybe new suppliers, new clients, uh, big ticket, uh, high, high value clients. Yeah, so this is a great area if you're working from home. Now, if you're not working from home, but maybe you have small children, let them work in the Southwest sector. Let them do their homework. Yeah, not let them work. <laughs> let them do their homework in the Southwest sector. Uh, it's a good sector to study. Uh, the, the, the number one star here brings good academic energies as well. So this is great. And if you're not working from home, if you, if you don't have children who can use this sector, then you yourself, like if you have some time off, if you just want to relax or spend some time at home, try to do that in the Southwest sector if possible, because this will give you overall just good energies. Like if you're a little bit down or demotivated or you're not quite uh, sure whether you're on the right track or you're just, I don't know, you're just really lacking energy and motivation, spend time in the Southwest sector. Yeah, one or two hours per day is great. So this is a fabulous sector. Now, the next one that I'm really excited about is the North sector here where we have the number nine monthly star. Uh, the number nine monthly star is a star that brings celebration, happiness, hope. It can also help you get promotion. So this is overall fantastic. When we combine it with the number eight, then there's also a, a money-making um, uh, energy combined with it. So overall, really, really good. Now, um, if you are, if you know a little bit about flying stars, then you know that the North sector is associated with the number one, uh, Kangua. So the number one is like, it forms a hidden combination of 10 with the monthly nine, yeah? So again, basically you have the same combination that you have here in the Southwest, plus an added money-making ability. So again, work from home if you can, and if that's possible either in the Southwest or in the North, this is really, really fantastic. Um, if, you, um, if you're not working from home, but again, um, maybe you have your master bedroom in the North, this is also great if you can sleep there, you have really, really good relationships with your partner, this is fantastic. So overall, these two sectors are the best sectors to have this month. Now, then we've got the South. The South is a good sector, but it's it's mostly for employees. Yeah, it's if you spend a lot of time in the in the South sector, you will be very, very busy this month. You will probably be thinking a lot about how to make money and what to do best with your money, how to spend money. So it's all about money. Um, 
Now, if you're a contractor, a freelancer working from home and you rely on getting more work to make more money, then this is great. Yeah, you can also use the South sector to do it. For everyone else, if you want to make a budget plan or if you just want to review your finances or anything to do with wealth, wealth and money related, the South sector is a really good uh, sector to do that in. Now, all the other sectors, um, they're, they're a little bit problematic, not, not really bad, but they're a little bit problematic. So let's start with the West here. Now, the monthly number six, generally speaking, is a good start. It helps with career matters. So if you're looking for a job, if you uh, want to get a promotion, any activity related to it, you can perform in the West sector, right? So writing your CV, reaching out to people, uh, making phone calls, taking interviews, whatever it is, like just use that sector. Um, and if you are studying from home and for whatever reason you can't use the Southwest sector, you can also use the West. Now, the only drawback here is that we have the annual number five, and that's most people are afraid of this particular energy because it brings a little bit more obstacles than we want to. Um, but I would say for just one month, if let's say you just want to increase your chances of getting a better job, getting a promotion, or just increasing your status, your authority, and just making yourself heard, for well, one month it's okay. Uh, if you want to work in the West, in the West sector, that's fine. Yeah, do all of these activities here. Um, then we've got the um, the East with the number two, so that's the annual illness star, and so as the name implies. Um, if you spend a lot of time here and you're already chronically ill or you're not feeling well or you are just recovering from maybe a surgery or from a long illness, then this may not be the best area for you to spend time in. Like probably if you can move to a different area, whether that's the south, the southwest or the north to sleep, that would be much, much more uh, preferable. Uh, also, elderly people who are suffering from chronic issues should probably uh, make sure that even if they do sleep in the East sector, uh, make sure that there's no hammering, no drilling, no moving around of furniture, anything like any major repair work. Now, if you are a business owner, then this is actually a really good energy because it helps you with property deals or just generally deals that, um, that you make around big assets. Yeah, so if you're an investor, this is actually a good area. So you don't need to be too worried about it. And if you're generally young and healthy, also this energy will not um, do too much damage. Then we've got the number seven here in the Northeast. So this is the, we call it the, the fire hazard star or the discord star or the disagreement star or the theft and robbery star. There's a lot of different terms for this one. None of them seem very positive. Um, however, Let's let's do the good things first. So if you're in metaphysics, if you do what I do, if you're a feng shui master or you read Basel charts or whatever, then this is a good sector because the number two um, helps with your affinity to metaphysics. It's also, uh, sorry, the number seven. It's also a great flying star if you want to improve your ability to communicate and convince people of your opinion. Yeah, if you want to influence others with your words. And this is a great sector. So if you're preparing for a speech or some sort of presentation, you can do that in the Northeast because it will help you to um, just find the right words. Now, on the on the downside, if you spend a lot of time in the Northeast sector in March, you may be more susceptible to scams. So you have to be really, really careful um, with any sort of deals that you enter into. Maybe postpone them to the next month. Um, but make sure that you're not signing anything that you shouldn't be signing, that you're not just giving your money away to someone who promises you a deal that's way too good. Um, so be careful with that. And in terms of fire hazard, if you happen to have any sort of candles or open flame in the Northeast, just be extra careful. Yeah, um, Don't leave them unattended. Um, maybe instead of, of, of a candle, opt for a, um, what are they called? Um, the salt lamps instead, yeah, that is much, much safer. So, you know, just be a little bit more careful. Then we've got the Southeast sector. Now the Southeast sector with the annual, sorry, the monthly number three, that is the monthly argument star. And as the name implies, 
arguments, of course, right? What we don't like is that we also have a number two here with the annual star. So that's a three, two combination. We call this a bullfight uh, shati. So if you happen to have your master bedroom in the Southeast, be prepared for probably a little bit more arguments than usual with your spouse. Now, it doesn't mean that it has to happen. Just walk away from the arguments or don't even start them. Definitely don't start them. Yeah, don't get into them um, because they just escalate. So this is sort of like a really, really serious argument energy that we have here. We don't like to see that at all. Um, now, uh, if you are someone who is a little bit shy and needs to learn to speak up for themselves, then the Southeast e sector is a great sector because it gives you the energy and the courage to argue for yourself on your own behalf. Yeah, so there's nothing wrong with that. Um, it will help you negotiate better deals for yourself. But generally speaking, if you are, let's say if you work from home, um, maybe making phone calls with problematic clients or suppliers or whatever, business partners, while you're in the Southeast sector is not such a great idea because the energies are already a little bit aggravated. And you may likely absorb them and then come across as a little bit more aggressive than usual. Yeah. And then lastly, we've got the number five here, the number five monthly star in the Northwest. So if you sleep here, that's fine. Yeah. You don't have to worry too much. If you work here, just be careful signing contracts. Uh, maybe go somewhere else uh, to sign contracts. Or if you have business meetings, client meetings, staff meetings, maybe don't do it in Northwest. Um, but the sector itself, the, the energy of this number five star, which is usually not at all positive, is not that strong because the Northwest is a metal palace. Yeah. And so the metal element will weaken this number five already. Um, and as long as you don't do any major repair work, painting, hammering, drilling, putting a pin in the wall, shifting around furniture in the Northwest during that fire rabbit month, you're actually quite okay. Yeah, you don't have to worry too much. Now, one caveat though, if you are, if you have a pregnant woman in the house, if you yourself are pregnant, try to avoid sleeping in the Northwest, especially if you're in the first trimester. Yeah, that's that's probably not the best idea. Just go somewhere else if you can um, to make sure that there's no complications. All right. So these are the flying stars and the recommendations for the month of March, the month, month of the fire rabbit. Uh, try as much as you can to use that Southwest and the North sectors. They're so good, such positive energies there. If you can just spend one or two hours in these sectors per day, that would be amazing. Um, make use of, of those energies. And um, yeah, let me know how it goes. Um, let me know what you accomplish while you are working there, while you're sitting there. And uh, yeah, keep me posted. If you have any comments, any uh, questions, please put them in the comment section below. And as always, my email address, if you want to contact me personally, is in the description of the video. So all the best for the month of March. Give me a big thum thumbs up for this video, share the video and subscribe to my channel. That would really help me out. All right. See you guys soon. Bye-bye.